Alright, this will be a very quick version of this tutorial for all the advanced people who know what they're doing so they can pause the video and take whatever they need and I will also make a step-by-step -step version of this tutorial. But what you will have to do is you create a custom player controller and in the game mode here you set it, so you use it and we also create a interface, it has only one function with no inputs or outputs called R mode changes and in the player controller we implement this function. Now, on the third person character, all I do is I create a boolean called R mode. I switch it with a flippity flop and whenever we do this, we also call this function we created to the player controller, so the get owner. Also, I use this logic, so when we move the arm, we don't move the camera at the same time. In the animation blueprint, all we do is at first <coughs> I'm creating two references, one for the third person character and one for the player controller by get the owner and using cost to create this reference. And then this is the main logic in here. I use the mouse position. Now there are three nodes, but only the one that is in the player controller will work for this. So you have to get, that's why we need to get the reference. And then we get the viewport size, divide it. Also on the Y you have to minus one because it gives our negative values. Don't forget that. Then we set these two values to variables for mouse position X and Y. And here we use the Boolean and we create a new float called uh, arm offset alpha and we set it to one and zero. And this is how we make this in the anim graph. We take a layered blend per bone with these settings, upper arm, blend depth of one, mesh space rotation is checked. And then we use our variables we created, mouth position x, y and arm offset alpha. And in here we use the play third person idle animation. And this is it for the anim graph. There's nothing more I did in here. In our custom cre created player controller, um, all we do in here is each time the arm mode changes, we set the mouse position so it is in the center. Otherwise, um, if we do it like if the mouse was off to the left, the arm is also in the left. So it, the arm is always centered when we click. And we do this by get viewport size, set mouse position. And this is why I created the interface and everything. You can also cost, but um, I do it like this. Okay.